Hello and welcome to this week's Rusty Courses video all about using custom fonts in React Native using Expo. Also, if you want to learn more about making apps in React Native, you can check out my course. There's a link in the description and it's going to be more content like this. Anyway, let's get started. So first you need to actually make sure you have the font file that you want to be using. So to give you an example, I have my uh, font just here, it's called Poppins Bold and it's in the Assets folder and I can access it just here like this. So that's what you need to get started and then we can actually move into the code. So this is just a normal um, React Native app set up using Expo, so that's the Create React Native App uh, Utility but you can find more information about this on the official React docs. So what you want to do then is actually start to Let's just open the editor again. So the simulator. So if you look at this code, you can see that right now we're not using any custom fonts at all. And it's not just as simple as um, changing the font family down here. Yeah, so it's not just as simple as adding the font family down here um, and adding your font name, which for me is Poppins Bold, as you can see from the uh, name of the font just here. You have to actually use a um, a part of Expo called Assets and Font. So to start using this, we're going to jump up to the top here and import these from Expo. So it's the same sort of format as all of the other things you would need to import. And the names are Asset and Font. And again, we're just going to import these from Expo. So once you have this, let's just save it, check that everything is running okay in the simulator. So as you can see here, where we just tried to add font family, it's got an error because we haven't actually loaded in this font. So again, I'll take that away so we don't have to worry about that for now. So if we just reload it, we should see that everything is running okay. So what we need to actually do next is make a check to see if this font is loaded and if not, wait for the font to be ready before we you know, run the rest of the page. So what we're going to do is add a st uh, if statement in here to actually check if the font has been loaded or not. So we'll start by making a new line just here because you have to have at least one view component in your return function. So we can add this in here and it'll be fine. So we start just by adding in a simple uh, check just here. So we'll check the state for something like font loaded and make sure this is true. So if this is true, we're going to run this code just here. And if it is false, we'll just add a, a separate view with a text component, just saying loading. And then close that all off. Fix that there. Okay, so that is almost what we need just to check this part. But we also need to set the state. So this would just make sure that the um, font loaded variable is actually, actually exists before we go and check this page. So we set this as false to begin with. So if we run this now, you should see, well firstly nothing's happening because we haven't added any, added any styling just here, so this element is hidden off the screen. So if we just add a little bit of styling, just copy this one here, and we could even remove this view component actually because it's already nestled inside the other component. Okay, so there we go, had a couple of issues there. Make sure you're using these curly brackets or parentheses so that everything's okay. So now you can see that this is waiting for font loaded to be true before anything else happens in our app. So this wouldn't necessarily just be a text element, this could be a stack navigator or tab navigator or anything else you actually want to have run for your app. But for us this is just a text element, so this is great for now. So now let's move on to actually loading in this font for us to actually start and change this font loaded variable. So let's start by creating a new function and this is going to be um, asynchronous so it has to be completed before or well, there has to be a callback before anything will actually happen. So this is going to be component spell that wrong 
component did mount. So easy enough so far. And then we want to just add a weight, just to indent this properly. Font, load a sync. So this is an expo um, function that would actually make sure that we're loading in this font. So what it actually takes in is the name of the font. We could add any name we want here, but it's easier if you actually use the name of the font. So for us, again, this is Poppins Bold. And then we literally just set the path. This is similar if you're using external images or anything like that. So you just say require. And then we want to actually find the path that our font is located. So if we just check in this project again, it's inside assets. So this dot forward slash gets us to the root of our folder. Then we want to check in assets. And then here it is. So poppins. And that's dot ttf. So let's close this way again. So we're almost there now. So we actually need to add a then return so we can actually wait for this to complete before we continue on running the code. So let's just make sure we type this out correctly. Okay, so as you can see, we're running this function or this callback just here, and then we need to set something to actually tell the um, render function that this has been loaded. So what we're gonna do is set the state and update font loaded to be true. So we save this now. My simulators needs to be uh, woken up. Okay, now you can see our simulator is back up and running again. But obviously this font is still the same default font as before, but you can see the text has actually changed. So this means our font is ready and it is all loaded. So let's go down to here and actually change the styling that we want to use here. So first, let's actually make a new style because if we add this uh, font family thing back into the paragraph, it's gonna be running exactly when we're running this loading text, which is before the font has loaded. So let's just change this around. Let's leave this as uh, paragraph one and we'll change this to paragraph two. So if we just copy and paste this and add this as one, we can remove the font here, change this to two, switch this back. And if we load this now, it should change the font whilst it loads. There we have it. So that's how easily you can actually add fonts in React Native using Expo. It's important to make sure that you actually wait for the font to be loaded before you call in the page. Sometimes it will work without adding this check, but you need to make sure that you always load the font in first. And I would say it's always a good practice to add this check because sometimes even if um, you're on a really fast internet connection, it could be a split second that that um, user is trying to access that font. And if it's happening too quickly, it's gonna cause an error and the whole app could crash. Something as small as that could cause that issue. So always add in this check. It's best to um, make sure you're performing this uh, font loader sync on the very first page of your app. So on the app.js is normally the best place to put this. And then you can use these fonts throughout your whole app. You can add more than one font here as well. So if we were to change this, um, we could add Poppins Medium or something like that. And you can access as many fonts as you need. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is how easy it is to actually add custom fonts in React Native using Expo. To learn more about making apps, check out my course. There's a link in the description. So again, thanks for watching.